Okay, I'm going to show you how to fix the lock actuator and a passenger side door on a um, on a Honda Odyssey. And this could be the either door, the um, driver's side or passenger side. And what you'll know if this is a problem is um, I'm going to hit the lock and watch the lock. That's locking, unlocking, nothing either way. And the rest of the doors are responding. So what this problem means is that there's a, that the lock actuator inside this door is no longer functioning. It's not um, responding like it should, and so we need to replace it. So I've got the part. I'm going to take it apart and get it replaced and show you how it's done. So we're going to start by taking the door off, so I'll show you how that's done. Okay, so here's the lock actuator. I got a new one. Um, pretty simple little contraption here. It just plugs in, screws on, and... Um, locks the door, goes back and forth locking it, um, once it's in and it's functioning. So make sure you get the right one, there's a different one for the passenger and driver's side, so that's all you need to, you need to pay attention to the year model of your van and driver or passenger side, and so um, we're going to start by taking the paneling off the door, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, we're going to start off by removing the easy things here, so you're going to need to remove this little cover on this screw right here to get it out and then take that screw out and then also move the speaker cover uh, it just pops out you can see there's a little indention spot Whoop. right there where you can slide a screwdriver underneath and pop it out you know just pop off all that pop out because uh, you're going to need to remove these screws that are holding the panel onto the door. Um, I don't think you have to remove the speaker itself. I think it's just secured into the panel. Um, in a minute I'll find out see if we have to, but I know you definitely need to remove these and this. Um, so I'm going to do that next. Okay, there's another screw here, right in here. Lift this up, take it out, that'll allow you to move this piece. And as you can see, it's connected to the uh, it's connected to the door there. So you're going to have to remove that. And then just work your way down the side. That's what I did. We'll pop it out. It is on there pretty tight. So you're going to have to just pop it out all the way around. And um, it's just these little clips right there holding it in. So that's what you have to do next is get all those out, pull the paneling off. Okay, I'm going to emphasize again this isn't an easy, quick fix job. I thought it would be, I was definitely wrong. Um, but I'm going to quickly go over what I've learned in doing this. Um, first off, this, it latches on these holes. So when you get the paneling, everything pulled out, pull forward and then it'll pop right out. That's what you need to do. Don't sit there and pull on it because you'll break these little hinges. You're just going to pull forward, pop out. Um, then uh, pop this out of here. The whole thing is getting access to it and getting as much things disconnected as possible, which makes it that's what makes it difficult. Disconnect this um, there, disconnect this, and disconnect the lock. Um, we have to disconnect here, um, which is going to the key, and this is going to the lock actuator. So you're going to disconnect this, um, you're going to disconnect the lock actuator, and then here's the fun thing you get to play with back here. Um, this is the track for the uh, the window you're gonna need to take it off um, to get access because you need all this space so there's a screw for it back here you screw it out off um, the rubber piece is gonna stay but this there's a metal piece behind it you're just gonna slide it out from under the rubber piece and then you'll kind of work it back in when you're done so take that out um, I had to I ended up undoing all three of these bolts that are here here and there and there's an access for that one there you may not have to what you need to be able to do is see that green piece right there it's a little clip over the hinge piece that's holding onto this you need to flip it up pull that piece out if you can do it without removing this piece and removing that go for it I had to remove this piece and unscrew that and take this lock part off to be able to get to that to hook it out um, then that's the whole lock system you need to get out. So you unscrew these three here. They're very tight. Um, then you're going to pull this out. Unscrew in the lock actuator. Pull it out. Unplug it. 
down there, right here. Plug the new one back in, reassemble everything um, again. It's not that replacing the lock actuator itself is so hard, it's just that getting to it is so difficult that makes this a difficult job. So it's going to take you a while. You're just going to have to get all those pieces out and then put them back together. Um, it's all interconnected, so it just takes a while. Best of luck to you. Okay, here's where I had to take the handle off. There's three bolts there, there, and then there's a cut black cover over this to get access to the third one, and you need some kind of extension. Um, it looks like it is 10 millimeter. Take all those off, and that'll give you access to move this around. Um, you're probably going to need to do that. It's not 100% necessary if you can get. Let me see. If you can get the cover off the lock and move this piece right here, which is connected right on the other side of the lock. I can't get to it with the camera. Um, it just kind of has a little green tab on it. You pop it off, pull it out. That'll give you a little more access, um, but if you want to be able to really pull this thing out and get to it, you might need to undo this. Maybe not. Um, it's just giving you more access. So, removing these three screws out here. Moving that key cover, the lock cover, and pulling this out, and then that's going to give you access to this to pull it out. Um, and then it has a little case on it. So you're going to need to unscrew that screw, that screw, so I get to focus. That screw, that screw, and that screw. This un removes the lock actuator, these three. And this one up here removes this plastic cover so you can see what you're doing. Um, just a caution, mine had this little adapter piece inside of it, so I took it from the old one and put it in this one, this little light colored white piece. Yours may, may not. Um, this plug doesn't do anything, it's not plugged into anything. Um, just this one. So that's how you do it, and then it's reassemble it. So hopefully that'll help you guys. Sorry, I was turning that sideways, wasn't I? Um, okay, I've replaced it and put the new lock actuator in. There's the new one right there. Um, this is a very, very difficult procedure because I had to do way more than I thought. I had to end up taking off three screws here to remove the entire uh, lock system and kind of pull it out. There's a case that's over the the lock actuator, you got to remove by removing a few screws and removing it from there. Um, I had to loosen the door thing, it's the door handle and pull it out. And where the lock is, it's all interconnected. So you've got to get all this whole system out to get access to this, to flip it over to get it out and get a new one in. Uh, it's pretty difficult actually. Um, it's nothing like the side door. It's not impossible. It's just going to take a lot of work, um, and because of the amount of work it took, I wasn't able to record every step. So, um, putting it back together now, and um, it should work, but again, it's going to take the whole system out because the door handle is connected to the lock, which is connected to the door outside, and it's all connected together with this system, so you got to pull all those pieces out. So. Best of luck if you try it. Um, I could try to give more details if you'd like. Um, if it's something people want to try, I will go through and add more details. But right now, that's about as much as I'm going to